This week in indoor football, the IFL kicked off. And boy, oh boy, what a dirty, dirty first game it was between Massachusetts and Frisco. My God, so many flags, so many guys getting ejected, or rather getting their on-field privileges taken away. You know, and Todd Tryon was at the game commentating. Yes, the puppet commissioner was at the game commentating. Yes, didn't even know his own rules. Wow, that that is kind of a shame because I mean there there was some questionable calls in this game uh, between Frisco and Mass, and of course sloppy sloppy play. Of course, sloppy 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 play. That's how bad it was. It was a it was a terrible game. Between Frisco and Mass. You got Alejandro Benefield, the guy, the guy that led Mass to a championship. You know, looking like, just looking not good out there. I mean, it was a rough, rough game. So many missed field goals. So many flags. You got Frisco with the QB rotation of P.J. Edwards. And I think Blake Sims, famed Alabama quarterback Blake Sims. And, I mean, it looks like Frisco's running game is good. I mean, again, the IFL does not update their rosters on the site, so I'm sitting here like, wait, who? Blake Sims? He's in this game? What do you mean? So, you know, Frisco was lost to Massachusetts on a last-second field goal, which is pure comedy because both kickers in this game missed kicks multiple times. Yeah. Um... The other two games that just finished up, you know, Bismarck, Green Bay, unfortunately for Green Bay, once again, turnovers. Killed them. Like, this is the fifth time that Bismarck has beaten Green Bay in the past year. This is bad. They beat again in two weeks. It's going to be hilarious. Uh, I haven't. I have not been keeping up with the rosters and everything like that. So I was surprised. You know, Bismarck has a really good defense. Really good defense. There was some. There was some rough plays in this game as well. But I think you know Bismarck got it right. They got. They got, They are riding the ship. Um, Green Bay kind of needs. They kind of need something. You know, in the QB game. I, I just don't see um, whoever they got on the field because I forgot his name already because I'm that slow with things. Um, so yeah, yeah, it, it was a rough game for Green Bay. Good win for Bismarck. Good way to start the season. And of course, you know, Quad City, Sioux Falls, Sioux Falls, it seems like, you know, there were a couple challenges by Curtis Riggs in this game that were justified. I, I do think that, you know, that was a factor, but there were a lot of flags that went in favor of Sioux Falls. I, I, I do not understand you know, because Sioux Falls also played with two quarterbacks, and it was rough. You know, Sioux Falls was able to come out with the victory in the end against Quad City, but I genuinely don't think the Sioux Falls team is built that way. They're not built the same way. You know, they've lost, again, a lot of guys are gone from the IFL to the USFL. Again, that, that that's really one thing that is also taking effect. A lot of guys are gone. They're not here anymore. You know, so it's kind of sad. Kind of sad. Um, we got to talk about the CIF real quick because uh, I haven't watched any of those games. Um, Rapid City, they played in their preseason game against the Colorado Greyhawks. It looks like they had a good crowd there. Uh, the Beef, they beat up on the Storm. You know, and it looks like uh, Topeka... Lost. It looks like Topeka lost to Sioux City. I'm not sure. In my opinion, let me check the damn scores real quick. Let me check the scores. Hold on, everybody. Okay, yeah, so Sioux Falls whipped up on Topeka. Poor Topeka. And then uh, Omaha whipped up on Southwest Kansas now. Southwest Kansas was in this game for a little bit, but, you know, it is what it is. And we got to talk about the CIF Network app. Because it is bad. It is really, really bad. It got so bad that, you know, it seemed like Omaha was on YouTube. You know, their game was on YouTube for a few seconds there. Or at least a few minutes. Multiple times. I don't know why. You know, CIF really should have just put all the games on YouTube. 
Zoom instead of trying to do an app thing, but whatever, you know, they had the formula correct, they just don't have the materials. That That's, you know, that that's, that's been the problem with this, you know, but that's been the problem with this league so far this year. I, I do not understand, you know. I, I just don't. I just don't understand, you know. It, you, you know, just use YouTube. Like I don't understand. You know, Pluto was bad enough. You know, the CIF network app has been really, really bad so far, and we, we, we you know, every everybody has been calling this out, and it's time to stop. It's time to stop. It is time to stop. Get, 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 go back to YouTube. Put all your games on YouTube, please. It was a little bit better. Just needed to work out some kinks. Just go back to YouTube, CIF. Please, please, I'm begging you. Please. Before the end of the season. Preferably next week. Please. Please. For me, for for the fans, the CIF, you know, because there's a rap, there was a Rapid City guy that commented on one of my videos, and I really want to see him play. You know, I had to go to a different link that got archived on YouTube, you know, to try and see, because I might see those highlights later. So, I, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's go back to the other news. So, speaking of Todd, Todd Tryon, you know, Inside the IFL is coming on the IFL YouTube page each and every Monday night to preview the games. And, you know, Todd was on it. That, you know, he must have went up to Worcester to, you know, see what was going on because i mean he was on a couple of commentary so i'm i'm intrigued by this inside the ifl thing that comes on at seven o'clock every monday night i'm intrigued by it i don't think i'll stick around for it because they unveiled the coaches poll and you know it was kind of whack you know i, I was kind of confused i also saw Dukon's poll arena football statements poll uh earlier this week and his was you know, just as good. You know, a little bit better. Because I mean, make we are on the same brain, all the same brain wave here. Because I do not know the rosters. He doesn't know the rosters either. My guy, we don't know the rosters. We don't know what's going on around here. You know, can we get can we get some rosters? IFL, please. So I'm confused. I'm sitting here lost. Um, let's talk about the uh, you know Vegas Nighthawks. They're gonna have a six part documentary. On my LV TV, that's the um, that's the you know the my network TV thing, you know you know those affiliate channels. Um, it's called United in Flight. It'll premiere uh, sometime in March. I think like March 16th or whatever. So that's gonna be interesting. It's a six part documentary. Um, hopefully y'all check that out over there. And um, you know let, let, let's talk about the FCF real quick before we get to the minor to the lower level leagues here. The Wild Aces. Formerly known as, you know, the Wild Aces, the team formerly known as the Wild Aces, then called Team X, is now called Should Have Been Stars. And I believe that they have NFTs associated with them as well. And that is just a stupid name, a stupid thing the FCF is doing. You know, they, I, they are not, they are not, they are not anywhere near a good tier of type of league. I'm sitting here just disappointed. I'm like a disappointed parent at the FCF. Like, I genuinely thought, you know, for a second that, you know, the FCF was going to get it together. This has been a disaster of a offseason. This has been a disaster of an offseason for them. They need to get it together, get rid of the NFT association, you know, maybe maybe also move to YouTube because Twitch is, Twitch is just, I just don't like Twitch. I cannot use Twitch to save my life. You know, and, and then this whole debacle, you know, with, with the Wild Aces. Like, this has been really, really rough. Bad, you know, bad, you know, bad communication, bad, you know, relations with, you know, the fans. And this is just not going to go well. Like, who calls the team should have been stars? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever, man. Um, whenever the FCF does launch, I'm, a sh I'm for this year, I'm assuming it'll be like April 16th. So, you know, around the time the NAL and some other leagues start, so, you know, it's it's going to be interesting, so, EI, the, last but not least, let's go to the um, lower level leagues here, the EIF has added a travel team called the United Firepower, I'll, I'll, I'll let you process that information, uh, I'm not sure why they've added a travel team called that, 
and it's probably not even going to play a game, but whatever. And they're supposedly located in North Carolina. So, or rather, whoever owns the team is located in North Carolina. I assume they're not going to play a game. And the AIFA, the American Indoor Football Alliance, which I keep mixing it up, it's either the Arena or the American Indoor Football Alliance. I keep messing it up. But the AIFA has like a new logo and everything, and it looks terrible. You know, that we talked, I think we talked about it. If not, it looks absolutely terrible. Worse than the first one, it looks so business like. It doesn't represent a football league. It looks terrible. It looks like a generic, you know, generic business logo instead of a football league. And they're going to finally release their sketch because they only have one game listed. And, you know, which is that kickoff classic thing that they've been hyping up, apparently. And I use quotations there because I'm not sure how bad they've been hyping it up because I don't, I haven't really seen anything from them, you know. There's only two weeks before their season begins. There's less than two weeks now. So by the time, you know, by the time this video comes out, there better be a schedule out. There better be. Because if there's not, I'm, there's going to be some hell to pay. Because I mean, the AFA has fumbled the bag along with the AFA, along with the APFL. They All three leagues have fumbled the bag. All three leagues splintered off from the AAL, and that's why the AAL is pretty much dead. And they all, they all three are making the same exact mistakes that the AL are making. All three of them. And it's bad. It's really, really bad. We need to stop this. You know, because there's quality teams in these leagues, yet, you know, who the three leagues that are being run you know, are not being run very well. They're not. And I'm sorry to say it. They're just not run very well ran leagues. That's why they're tier three. You know. Honestly, we need a tier four at this point for the FCF, you know, but I mean FCF is firmly, you know, running in and pimp slapping all three of these leagues, you know, because I think FCF is a tier three league now. Look, this is this is really bad. They have all the owners and stuff like that. They have all they have all the money behind it, but they're just so incompetent. You know, they're, they're in that threshold of tier two getting into tier three by this point, you know, in my opinion, you know. And so I mean that that's just my opinion. As we get into the season next week, I believe there's like what five IFL games, and I'm not sure how many CIF games that will count next week because there's still some exhibition games going on for some reason because the CIF likes those. But until next week, I'll see you then, and you know have a good rest of your week because you know we're gonna be covering some national or rather not not just national lacrosse league we'll be talking to pll college lacrosse yes i said college lacrosse and some nba as well because it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting week here on the channel so i'll see you all um throughout the week um tuesday and thursday i believe that's what i got scheduled i don't know how that's gonna work out but that's what i have scheduled so i'll see you tuesday and thursday for the NBA update for march madness and the nll pll and college lacrosse update videos those will be this week. Take care, everybody. I'll see you soon.